It's July 4, a day when millions of Americans celebrate with picnics, barbecues and cookouts. But cooking meat outside especially in the heat currently toasting the US is one of the main reasons scores of people end up bed-bound with food poisoning on July 5. According to the CDC, nearly 48 million people each year get sick from foodborne illnesses, with 128,000 hospitalizations and 3,000 deaths. Daily Mail Online spoke to two doctors about what steps you can take to keep yourself and others safe this week and enjoy the holiday. Experts say to make sure produce that needs refrigeration, such as bell peppers, melons and berries, is put away promptly and within two hours after peeling or cutting. So if you're planning on cutting your vegetables, peeling potatoes for your potato salad, or mixing your fruit salad in the morning for an afternoon cookout, make sure that you refrigerate it right away. Any cut produce that has been left out for more than two hours should be discarded. The experts also say to make sure that all fresh fruits and vegetables are run under cool tap water immediately before eating. Don't use soap or detergents, said Dr. Arlene Sina Sobrano, an associate professor at the University of North Carolina School of Medicine. Scrub firm produce, such as melons and cucumbers, with a clean produce brush. Cut away any bruised or damaged areas before eating. Bruising makes a piece of fruit more susceptible to infection because as the cell walls break down, nutrients leak into the open and bacteria on the surface of the fruit or in the air can get in, so avoiding using that part of the watermelon or potato that's dented or brown. Dr. Sina Sobrano adds, that there is no way to ensure that a salad is safe, especially if you didn't prepare it yourself. In general, pregnant women should avoid raw sprouts of any kind, such as alfalfa or mung bean, because of the chances it may be carrying a foodborne illness, she said. Use a thermometer to make sure your meats are cooked through drive Cena Sobrano says that one of the biggest risks for food poisoning comes from food not being properly prepared, especially when it comes to raw meats. I would personally make sure that I don't eat any undercooked meats like burgers or chicken, she said. Make sure the person who's doing the cooking has a meat thermometer and is cooking meat, poultry and seafood to the recommended internal temperature. Dr. Luther Bartolt, an associate professor at the University of North Carolina School of Medicine, says that look or touch is not an accurate estimation of whether or not meat is done. You have to get the internal temperature of the meat high enough to kill the bacteria that can make us sick, he said. Color and texture of meat isn't always an accurate way to tell if you've reached a safe internal temperature. Invest in a meat thermometer and adhere to the CDC's recommended cooking temperatures. Bacteria grows mostly rapidly in temperatures between 40F and 140F and can double in as little as 20 minutes, according to the USDA. This why hot foods such as burgers or hot dogs should be kept at a minimum for 140F, whether it's on a grill or in an insulated container. But don't keep them in that container for more than two hours because you run the risk bacteria multiplying. If the food needs to be reheated, Make sure it's to at least 165F as measured with a food thermometer. Equally, 
make sure to not refreeze any leftovers, particularly meats such as burgers, steaks, or kebabs. The more times you cool and reheat food, the higher the risk of food poisoning you have. Bacteria can multiply when cooled too slowly or reheated insufficiently. Cold foods should be kept under 40 F and stored either with frozen gel packs or containers of ice. Dr. Sina Sadranam recommends refrigerating perishable food within two hours or one hour if it's above 90 F where the food is sitting out. The experts say to make sure you wash your hands before handling any food to avoid cross-contamination. It is estimated at least 70% of foodborne illnesses are caused by improper hand washing. Dr. Sina Subrano says this particularly important when handling raw foods. Not washing your hands after touching raw meat poultry or eggs could lead to you spreading bacteria such as E. coli, salmonella, and listeria, or parasites to other foods. It's not the most enjoyable task, but if you're outside and happen to touch raw meat or chicken, whether it's accidentally or while helping out the cook, immediately head inside and clean your hands with hot water before touching anything else. A new study by the U.S. Department of Agriculture found that most Americans are unaware of how to properly wash their hands before eating or cooking. The department recommends washing your hands for 20 seconds with soap and warm water, but just 3% of participants did so 